Hey guys, it's Marilyn Delicious Delights. I have three samples here that I haven't tried yet. The first one here is from Jusette Parfums. It's called Accident à la Vanille. Second one here is Sakura from uh, Ormond Jane. And then the third one here is called Sand Dance and it's from Stéphane Humbert Lucas 777. So the one that I'm looking forward to the most out of these is the Accident à la Vanille from Jusette Parfum. So I'll leave that to the very end of the video. And I'll first try the Sand Dance from Stéphane Humbert Lucas 777. So these are just going to be my very first sniffs and first impressions. And then I will read out the notes afterwards. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's super, super strong. Hmm, okay. Hmm. All right, so this is giving off a sweet and earthy scent. Wow. <laughs> There's something about this. There's something kind of gritty or grainy in this scent maybe because it's called sand dance it's already giving an impression of my mind of the texture of sand and i am getting kind of like this gritty kind of feeling and i don't really mean that in a bad way but it has like this rough kind of texture to it in the base and then maybe this rough sandy like texture is coated with something sweet. <sighs> kind of delicious, but not overly gourmand. I'm thinking of something like a chocolate patchouli, maybe a little bit of a sweet caramel, but not overly sweet. Something thick, a little bit creamy as well so I'm getting like this texture of that gritty earthy sand like texture but then also this smooth creamy sweetness that is kind of edible smelling but not completely not all the way there that reminds me of somewhat of a chocolate spicy chocolate or caramel or something like that so yeah it is quite strong coming off of the test strip here very unique smelling i haven't smelled anything like this before and yeah that's a pleasant scent now i will just pull up what the notes are here notes listed in the top are whiskey coriander and mandarin orange middle notes are cacao sandalwood cashmere Base notes are benzoin, styrax, tonka bean, white cedar extract, and patchouli. But yeah, that's Sand Dance from Stephane Humbert Lucas 777. Now the second one here is from Ormond Jane. It's called Sakura. I think this is also somewhat new either this year or last year. Um, I think Sakura means cherry blossom, if I'm not mistaken in Japanese. But... Let's see. First sniff of Sakura. Hmm. A citrusy, bright. The first thing I smell is a citrus, like a grapefruit peel, along with some zesty, sharp grapefruit. The fruit itself and also the juice maybe some yuzu maybe some lime as well the opening reminds me a little bit of the opening of osmanthus from the same house um, ormond jane and i own a bottle of that that one i have loved for so many years i love that scent it also has this really nice uplifting citrus note almost like a grapefruit note and I'm sensing that kind of vibe also in this Sakura scent. There's also some sweetness coming behind this 
uh, grapefruit scent or citrus scent. And also a woodiness as well. So I'm not really thinking of cherry blossoms or the sweetness of cherries or fruity sweetness other than the citrus notes in the beginning and the top. But there's uh, that woody note in here is pretty strong. Like a citrus woody scent. So maybe now I'm uh, the trunk of the actual tree of the cherry blossom tree. And a little bit of sweetness coming from, I don't know what, but there is a sweetness in here too. And also a greenness as well. Yeah, this is like an everyday, easy to wear, inoffensive kind of scent, like an easy grab from what I can tell right now. But I'm not really thinking of um, cherry blossom yet. But of course, I will be testing this on skin to see how it dries down. But yeah, it is a nice scent. Very pleasant, easygoing scent. The notes listed in the top, there's a lot of uh, notes in here. There's green notes, bergamot, lime, pink pepper, coriander, mandarin orange. Middle notes are cherry blossom, cyclamen, freesia, osmanthus, water lily, violet, and rose. Base notes are cedar, sandalwood, musk, amber, tonka bean, and Madagascar vanilla. Very pleasant scent. I like this one as well. Okay. Now finally, we have Accident a la Vanille. This is from Juicette Parfums. I have tried some of the other uh, Accident a la Vanille flankers. There was the Madeleine one and also the Almond Cake one. I think of those two, I prefer the all, uh, sorry, the Madeline one. This is the original one, Accident a la Vanille. And let's see what this one's like. I own one scent from Doucette Parfums. It's the Gourmand de Bacor. I really, really like that one. Ooh. Oh my, that smells so, so yummy. Okay, so this is reminding me of a vanilla cake batter or a cookie dough. Maybe a cake or a cookie batter for sugar cookies or vanilla sugar cookies. It has like this doughy texture to it, which is something that I also noticed in Gourmand's Bacor. Uh, when I talked about that one in a previous video, I said it reminded me of a Filipino sweet bread called ensamada. And I'm also getting that same texture of a soft, a warm and soft uh, piece of bread just straight from the oven. <sighs> okay. Yeah, so the imagery that I'm getting is I'm thinking of... Uh, that ensamada, which is basically a very soft Filipino bread, and on top you put some butter on top and then sprinkle it with sugar. So I'm thinking of that same bread because I am getting that texture in here, in the accident alavani, but in you cut the bread in half and then you put like a warm, just baked uh, sugar cookie inside of it. So it's also very chewy and soft. And like taking a bite of that, almost like a, a sandwich. <laughs> that is absolutely delicious. Oh, I really like that a lot. <laughs> it's almost making my mouth water a little bit. Yeah, that's really, really nice. That's Accident a la Vanille from Justet Parfums. So I'll just quickly pull up the notes for this one. Top note is vanilla. Middle note is vanilla and sandalwood. Base notes are vanilla and styrax. So there's vanilla three times in the top, mid, and base. And I really, really enjoy this. It smells so delicious. <laughs> so yummy. So I'm going to rank these ones now from my least uh, my least fave to my most fave, just based on my first sniff. 
My least fave would probably be... Um, probably... I don't know. Probably the Sand Dance from Stephane Humbert Lucas. But I still actually think it smells pretty nice. But I think I will have to do some more testing with this one. Yeah, it's a nice scent. It's a nice warm, chocolatey, gritty, earthy kind of scent that I'm not sure I would reach for a lot if I owned a bottle. Second favorite is Sakura. Very, very pretty, Z uh, zesty, citrus, floral, and that woody note is what I smell mostly. Well, it's mostly a citrus and woody note right now, and then florals in the background. Okay, and my favorite easily uh, is the Accident à la from Doucette Parfums. So, so delicious. <laughs> like literal baked bread, sweet bread with sugar and sugar cookie. And that nice doughy, soft doughy texture like cookie dough. Yeah, so that is definitely the winner easily. But of course, as I said, I will test these on skin to see uh, how they dry down and if any other notes come up and stuff like that. So yeah, that was my video of trying out some new sweet fragrances. If you have tried any of these scents, I would love to hear your opinions on them. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.